Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on Radio Television of Burkina Faso for headlines, your weekly news session program. The president of the National Assembly, Alassane Balasakande, in a short trip of 72 hours at Bobo Julasso, accompanied by a delegation of parliamentarian, Alassane Balasakande paid a courtesy visit to the traditional and religious authorities. There, the president of the National Assembly asked the authorities to pray for security in Burkina Faso and also to call on the population for peace and social cohesion. September the 7th, 1958, September the 7th, 2018. 60 years now that Daniel Wenzin Kulubali is no more. This great historical and political character was the first African from the West African French colonies to reach the highest grade of the administration during the colonial era. Founder of the political party called RDA, Daniel Wenzin Kulubali was nicknamed the Lion of RDA. He ran the first government of Upper Volta, today Burkina Faso, in 1957. The Lion of RDA was at multiple times parliament members and senator of the French administration. 93 billions of CFA franc, that is the amount of sum collected during the bond issue of last May. This bond loan was in the art of the meeting organized by the Ministry of Finance last Thursday. The purpose of this gathering is to make the assessment of this operation. The operation is still going on, and the government wants to galvanize the subscribers and other interested investors. The reimbursement rate is 6.5 per annual. The war against illegal schools is opened. The ministry in charge of education is closing the schools that are not complying to requirements. From the 649 schools indexed, 226 have already seen their doors officially shut down by the government. The first responsible of the education department ensured that this operation will continue in order to clean completely the sector from illegal schools. A funding solution of 7.4 billion of CFA franc is created to support 500,000 young men and women of four countries, members of WEMU, the West African Economic and Monetary Union. The Youth Empowerment in West Africa, or YEWA, will build the capacities of youth in West Africa during the four coming years. To know more about it, let us listen to the project stakeholders. We have decided to support this program because we think it's extremely important for young people, of course, to give, uh, to give the possibilities for young people to, uh, to develop, uh, to uh, have services of education and of health and other things that are uh, targeted at the young people. It's very important to uh, make sure that young people have the possibility to participate in the democratic institutions uh, that we have in our countries that they uh, actually have the courage to participate, to speak up, uh, to, to make their wishes and, uh, heard, and that we give uh, them their support to be able to do so. These are some of the things that we hope to achieve with this program, which has a target of 500,000 young people in four countries. In five years, we've been working in Mali and Burkina Faso and Togo and Benin to develop this program. And now we have received a big grant, a big possibility to enlarge the program together with Plain so that we can reach 500,000 young people in the next four years to give training, to give coaching, to train, to, to uh, get the, the youth to work together in order to become self-sustainable and to have a voice and to organize themselves and to work together in order to create uh, jobs and to uh, be entrepreneurs and to uh, have a stronger voice. So that is the purpose of the program. And I'm very happy to be here today because this is, um, we can see now the fruit of the work we've been doing the last five years and we can now see that with the integration of Bernafon and Plain together, we can do much more the next four years. Ladies and gentlemen, headline is over. But before leaving, let me share with you this proverb. Experience is the best teacher. Experience is the best teacher. See you and bye-bye.